<laughs> you ain't this. You ain't that, which you should have. Man, somebody just gonna love you. They're gonna throw those braids on the floor. You hear me? You just hang in there. Hey, Amen. I'm trying to push you somewhere. You like, I ain't got no GPS. You don't need one. Just listen. Hey, Amen. You're gonna love him some Keto girl. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Man. You've been through too much to just be with anybody. God ain't playing with you. Yeah. You're gonna set the world on fire. You say, but it's so uncomfortable, I don't know. I don't know what God is doing. <laughs> Amen. Join the rest of us. <laughs> he declared, he declared, I know it's hard for her because she's she's got that. Uh, that don't look like he's doing nothing. He's doing a whole lot. Yes. Amen. But yet to slow your roll and be in his will. Or Satan will use how God made you against you. Right. Does that make sense? Uh, now y'all sad. Who cares? Mark 6. Still <laughs> happy. Amen. Those three questions. So they, they, they got to talk about Jesus' family. And let's pick it up. Now pick it up at a verse. Uh, pick it up verse Pick it up verse 1, 6 and 1. And Amen. he went out from thence and came in. Hold up. I'm still happy for the bells, y'all. I'm happy for Brian Jr. Yeah. I'm happy for... You gonna wear that Batman shirt on campus? I'm happy for Batgirl over here with the Batman shirt. Don't bring nothing like that to, the, to, to meet me. Amen. <laughs> Anybody with a costume on is suspect. Right. Amen. Happy, happy, happy. Amen. I don't know where sadness is at. Uh, my son James has called me out the blue talking about love you pops. Yeah, I know well, that. How, how much is that worth? I hear you, Kwan. That's why I like talking to you. You should have been in church a long time ago so I could have somebody to talk to. <laughs> I've been talking to you long for years. Yeah. So I seen a picture. I said, once upon a time, Jane, it was just us. Right. Me and my three boys. Right. He said those were the best times. Right. How y'all like that? Amen. 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 You want to be able to be a continuation of the best times. Uh, that was deep in itself. Read, read. I'm going to get started. I'm so happy I may let out early. Somebody <laughs> said, that's kind of happy I won't. <laughs> Start at verse 1. And he went out from thence and came into his own country, and his disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, so, so one of the principles that Dr. Gunn picked up, after God uses you for any kind of miracle, you know, you're going to do miracles. You know, we don't know who she's going to run into at that site. God already knows who she's going to be on the plane with. Huh? Who she has to sit next to. Who's at the hotel, who's going to be on the floor. Has no idea. Right. Amen. Anytime you do any kind of miracles, here's the next chapter. He don't get a chapter off. If he don't get a chapter off, you don't get a chapter off. Here come opposition. Right. And that was the whole purpose of this. So that you don't sit there and, and, and go into depression because uh, you done hooked up with somebody who now is questioning why you are all that. You got to pick that up on the first dinner. Uh, uh, now I won't call it a date. The first dinner encounter. Let's try that. That you're too much for them. Okay? That they're offended by your... That was good last night. By your wisdom. Right. They're offended by your power. They're offended that, that you even know uh, how to function and when to function. You're not praying for an hour over your food. It's all cold. And they got to reheat it. <laughs> and you're fun. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you're fun. But you also go to war. And, <clears throat> Because there's a devil after you. Right. Right. Amen. So don't get warfare mixed up. This is warfare with fun. You find something to be happy about. Amen. And you're a fun person to be around to Satan fire the first shot. After that, you strapped and ready. You ain't got to go to your trunk and get nothing. That's a, that's a future dead gang member. Tell me you got to go to your trunk. Supposed to have your stuff on you. See, some of y'all should stay in church. Amen. Read. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many hearing him were astonished, saying, 
From whence hath this man these things? Hurry up, Karen, because I need to have you laughing about the choke. Amen. Because okay. in this chapter, Mark, somebody, somebody was twerking and killed, got somebody killed. <laughs> in this chapter. So you come on, you will enjoy this. Somebody was twerking and got somebody killed. <laughs> Amen. Y'all didn't even know that was in the Bible. Then I said, where that is in the word? It's in there. Read. And what wisdom is this which is given unto him? <laughs> the essence is shaking her head. Don't bring that dude around. Well, why you always, always, always beating your drum? And I'm always leaving when it's time to go, too. <laughs> it's funny because you, you just got her. It ain't funny when you got somebody staring you down. And you trying to always, always beat your drum that you could beat when you were single, but you done hooked up with this fool. Uh-oh. <laughs> Staring at you. Right. <laughs> Cussed you out in the parking lot. Mm. I'm trying to save some of y'all for picking a fool, a kind of fool you already had <laughs> that you done forgot about. <laughs> I come help, help me, my nigga. I'll be in your corner in a minute. Already had one of them. <laughs> Already had one of them and didn't want to get lit during the service. <laughs> Y'all pray for me. Pray that I cuss her out some more when we get home. Uh, crazy people. Amen. Thank God you single tonight. Thank God you single. Amen. Now, if, 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 if you get on your own last nerve, well, <laughs> if you get on your own nerves, <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> hold that thought and get that fixed before you hook up with somebody. Read. That even such mighty works are wrought by his hands. Wow. He just got through racing. He done touched a woman who was suffering 12 years. He, a girl was dying at the age of 12. He getting questioned. So you're not going to get questioned? You just don't want that person in your house questioning you. You both want to get questioned. Y'all ain't all that. Wait till I show you where your enemy's at. It's in that chapter 2, in the same twerk chapter. Okay. It's all in the twerk chapter. Read. Is not this the carpenter? So, so it, it, now they want to cry. <clears throat> she only, she just a, a junior exec. I remember when she, when she just got the job at the, at, at the, at the uh, uh, attorney general's office. I just, I remember when she was just a kid. Yeah. Always trying to deny you. Right, right. Come on. Oh, now she want to sell stocks. Mm -hmm. And wait, you hear wh who it comes from. I, I made one of my daughters cry. I said, almost, oh, she's she a thug. She ain't going to cry in front of me. I said, your problem is you ain't got nobody to call and who's happy for you. They don't believe. They think they watching something against, like, how in the world? You, we know you. We know what you've done. We know. And she almost start crying. She has nobody. Right. In the family. <laughs> One of my daughters texted, she said, that stuff, y'all was sitting there bored and whatever because you think you're going to just run into the Huxable family. You better hope not because Cliff. <laughs> I, hope, I, hope, I hope you don't run into Cliff. He ain't right. <laughs> Cliff ain't right. Cliff ain't right now, okay? And when my daughter said, she said, I had tears of joy. Everything you said, I had to live through. It brought back memories of being mistreated by his mama, his daughter from other, all that. And it made me sign off and help send her through school. And she hated me. Wow. Cussed me out. Man, man. <laughs> and, and, and I wasn't even thinking about that. But, but where, where, the word you reject, somebody else said, if they only knew. I wish I'd have had a word that warned me. Hey man, everybody gonna have problems because you got a mixed two childhood, but you ain't trying to carry no stupid family. Right. You you talking about some mess. Right. Huh? <laughs> you think they're gonna all die off when y'all say I do? <laughs> they all gonna collapse? <laughs> <laughs> they get thicker. <laughs> and don't get paid. <laughs> Got a girl here, man. Man, she told me, man, they think, because me and my husband doing well, they think 
Anytime they lack something, they just make a phone call. How long you think you're going to be happy when you look in the bill, so you try to get a down payment on your home, and he done gave his crazy cousin? Right. Right. You, I can't let Uncle Ted stay in there. You're going to say, why not? Yeah. All that crazy stuff. Yeah, all right, okay. You know well, one daughter said she enjoyed it last night. Amen. Here they questioning <laughs> Jesus. Trying to go back into his past. I remember he's on the roof nailing. <laughs> <laughs> Notice nobody dying and nobody bleeding got anything to say. <laughs> nobody who's losing their loved one, they all at his feet. They ain't got nothing to say. Uh, it's these critics that you're gonna always have. They don't go anywhere. Amen. Wouldn't you be embarrassed? I'd be on Facebook trying to convince all my critics. Uh, they don't even know I'm in town. They know I'm here, but they know they can't get me. They can't find me. I care less. Amen. You got to live with it. I don't care what you do. You can raise up the dead. They're going to have something to say. Right. You know it. Amen. I want to know where was all that commentary when you was wrong? When you were in sin. Huh? And the religious people in your family talking about, you ain't never going to be right. You don't went past right. You got filled with the Holy Ghost and you live in something. And they still got something to say. Right. It don't take all that now. Wait a minute, I just left the club and you said I was no good. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're going to find out the upper room is a place they don't want to go. Right. Read. Is not this the carpenter? The son of Mary, the brother of James wow. and Joseus. What they got to do, he just healed a couple of folks. Because critics don't care. Read. And of Judah and Simon, and are not his sisters here with us? They should have been at his feet. All those folks should have been at his feet. See my point? And they're questioning him. You say you have Christ in you, which means they're going to question you. Okay? And here's the beauty is when raggedy people used to be involved with, no, they can't holler at you no more. And you ain't said nothing. You ain't said nothing. And they look at you. That's the whole point of getting that Land Rover. They gonna say, what, the, is that her? Ain't no way in the, what, who is she? What, they gonna be looking at your hand and stuff? And, uh, what, who is she? I just ran into a God, amen. I found out I had more to offer than to making pretty babies, amen. I found out I was not a piece of meat. I found out if I would praise God and walk in a sincerity. Yes. He'll open up doors, can't nobody close. All right now. Huh? But watch somebody go off into your past. Always. You know what I'm talking about. Always, always. <laughs> you just don't want to live with this. Mm -hmm. Let it always be outsiders. Okay? Uh, and let me help you. If they talking about your hub, they talking about you too. Sure, all right. That's why I don't like hyphen names. I don't, don't get mad. Now we ain't got to fight over it. Ain't going to start no church. I don't do no hype. You hyphen your name, you keep your own name in. All right, don't, don't. <laughs> what you hyphen for? That's your minus sign? <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, some of y'all should have had a hyphen. <laughs> I just be messing people, they be like. <laughs> I can't help it because some of y'all ain't got no convictions. I know some of y'all went trick-or-treating yesterday. I don't care. May those candies block your bowels. I don't care. I don't care. You ain't got no conviction. Keep playing. I don't care. I already know. I'm not going to put it on Facebook because Bishop on there. Put it on there. You, dress, you dressed up as a member tonight. I, I know you were trick-or-treating. It don't pop. You dressed up as a member. <laughs> Don't bother me. I'm so happy. Amen. You know you ain't got no conviction. I, I taught it. I, go on with your bad self. <laughs> and when you hook up with the Joker,
There's some sick people out there. Tracy, tell them. A certain percentage of Americans have mental issues. She will tell you. She worked with one. Now she, 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 I'm trying to tell her her business, but somebody was turning out the hospital and, and throwing chairs and stuff, and she used all that height to advance. She said, I'll break your neck, something like that. <laughs> Told that child that. And he calmed all, whatever was on him, sat down. <laughs> Don't get me confused with everybody else with a degree. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hit me with a chair. <laughs> but she'll tell you. Uh-huh. And all of us, I did a study. I had a, I had a girl who had severe mental problems. If there's, let's see, five sisters of the brain. Remember I taught her one time? At any time, I dare say, most of us came in. That's why, that's why I see if, you, if you're not thankful then you open the door for all the other things going wrong. Okay, depression, prolonged depression is a mental condition. Yes it is. That, that will take you somewhere. Sure enough. One first place is gonna take you to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Cause it has to land somewhere. Right. Okay, cause there's five systems. If you came in tonight with four of yours working, okay, you're blessed. Amen. If you, if you came with all five, Ooh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Ain't no telling what you're going to build this month. Right, right, right. Amen. You have to understand. That's why you have to fight. You have to, you have to fight to be optimistic. You have to fight to be popular. You have to watch your music. Watch what you watch. Everything. You, got, you, can't, you cannot have everybody having access to you. Amen. That's always asked, but how do you let people get to you like that? Mm -hmm. We got a church phone, don't nobody answer. Y'all know that? Sweet message on there. I think I, I, every now and then I call to see if it's still working. Hey, man. What? You're supposed to answer the phone. I have a church phone. We can leave a message. We'll get around. I don't know what year we're going to get to it. Because, tell them, at the end of this year, all we get is Christmas lists. I get lists all in the mailbox. I saw once this doll, this toy. I get, you think I'm playing? I get lists. The person in your behind supposed to get that list. I'm not near your behind. <laughs> oh, that feel good seeing that. Back to the Bible, read. And they were offended at him. And they were offended at Jesus. So they're going to be offended at who? You. You. With Christ in you. Don't marry somebody who's offended by your walk with God. That's good. Who played a role just to catch you. Mm -hmm. Man, st Steph in the church love you so much. When I mention the half a girl, you just see people fist ball up. Man, you better leave that nice man alone. We are not. She, <laughs> she better not say nothing to him. I'll get her in the women's room. <laughs> Just get her to church, Steph, and I'll tag team. Just knock on the door, three knocks. I'll come in there. Because he's a nice man. Amen. Some of y'all ain't never seen a nice man. Just look at Steph. They, they trying to get with you. They just ain't never seen a nice man. <laughs> they used <laughs> no, I'm serious, man. You had to know that. It was a young man. I've been doing it so long, man. There was a young man in town. When I picked him up, he had a bad Jerry curl and was wearing all white. So it's a wonder he didn't, he didn't, he didn't uh, come into America my seats. And I know I knew he wasn't no thug because first thing he did, he got in, he put his seatbelt on. No, no thug. <laughs> Later on, he became, I won't call his name because some of y'all know him, probably related to him. I said, he became this notorious person. <laughs> it said, so and so. I said, who? I said, I gave him a ride. He had had two car accidents, and he came in and buckled up his seatbelt with his all white and his dripping jerry curl, and now he a thug? <laughs> all he did was go to a troop concert. <laughs> remember, remember troop? <laughs> he went to a troop concert. <laughs> 
Thank God for nice young men who are all men who just somebody raised them to treat somebody right. But y'all saw my daughter's like, if he don't get me in a headlock, he don't love me. The baby boy, I, I, I ain't been in one headlock. <laughs> what's wrong, baby? He said, good morning. I said, what's her name? <laughs> what's her name? I just said, good morning. That's what I got to get out of him. It's that wild head we trying to put down with some bad jail. <laughs> and every now and then it pop up. <laughs> I feel it when I pray for him. I see that head bite my hand. Because <laughs> he won't stay down. <laughs> I told you I was happy. Read. But, but Jesus said unto them. What did he say to him? A prophet is not without honor. <laughs> he ain't studying y'all. A prophet had no... What'd he say? Tell him? Tell him. So it's three more things. Like, man, every time I get another list, you add to it. I ain't never gonna have nobody. One minute I'm a city on the hill. Next minute I'm salt. I'm pepper. I don't know what I'm, what I'm gonna be mushroom. Just, just listen. Just listen. Huh? What did you... It's three more things you got to see. Opposition will come from. Read. Here it is right here. A prophet is not without honor, but in his own country. Own country. And among his own kin. <laughs> his own kin. And in his own house. Hey, right. Well, 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 well. Hey, go home. Come on. There's three more. Mm -hmm. How y'all like that? Read it again. I know I'm teaching y'all right. Yeah. All right. You don't want no problem in your own house. Right. Because somebody was playing church. Your kinfolk, you should be able to deal with them. Amen. You're supposed to deal with your own family. Uh, who think it's funny that you're walking with God until they need something. Right. Excuse me, then it ain't funny no more. Okay. They think tithes and offering is funny until they get broke. Amen. It's all funny until drama comes up. Amen. And you don't preach to them all the time. Amen. You, you have to. <laughs> Some of y'all want to preach to everybody. I don't preach to everybody. <clears throat> so Pastor Barlow, you, what you should be doing is you should be visiting the sick. I did that last night. That's what I was. That's the class last I was visiting the sick. <laughs> Amen. Y'all was here and I was talking, right? It was yeah. a visit, right? Yeah. I, I was visiting the sick last night. Right. Okay. Man, y'all want to preach? Everybody. Man, I went to the bank today and the girl said, hope you had a good Halloween. I didn't go into no dialogue about Halloween and right. hollows and <laughs> I just took my receipt. Hey, you have an excellent day. Right. She wasn't going to get saved behind that window. Right. <laughs> just got to learn how to just. Amen. Huh? I waste a lot of time because when I got knowledge, I used to love, man, I used to, and, and then I ran into something. I ran into a young man who already knew the scriptures I was about to talk. He just wasn't, he just didn't have the revelation. That's why I learned my lesson. He, he, he gave me the rest of my scriptures. He was in the Air Force. He just had, and then when he got the revelation, he sent me a message, but he already knew those scriptures. I quit arguing with folk. Amen. Right. You'll never see me on Facebook Live trying to preach and <laughs> offer you a twenty-five gas card if you come to church. You got <laughs> gas, you make. If you're not, try to borrow somewhere you here and get on home. <laughs> I, man, I don't. Amen. <laughs> Keep it real. First of all, most of those people crash. We've already had those kind of folk at Grace. Overzealous, but when it came testing time. Okay. You ever had people that got all the pop quizzes right but then flunked the test? Yeah. I was like Sunday school, right? <laughs> huh? I mean, yeah. So, so it, it's it's testing time. That that's how you get built up in God. Can you pass the test? So being overzealous, and then and then all you're gonna do, no matter what you tell people, God will remind you of what you told other people. You told people God was a keeper. You told people God was a way maker. You, 
The same person who had Imuna on his license plate is sloppy drunk on Facebook with a bottle. That stuff don't imp Satan is not impress. He will time you. That's why you should have woke up today praising God. Amen. You live each day and then you get time and grade. Mm -hmm. So some of your kinfolk, they will be, okay, she watched her. I, been, I told you I knew her before I knew Tamika. And she watched. She came and visit. Ooh, some trifling people. Oh, oh, oh gracious. Kwana. <laughs> Kwana like, golly. <laughs> Till she watched her daughter. Right. And she kept watching her. Mm -hmm. And kept watching her. Yes. And Tamika's a bad chick. Don't get mad. And Tamika's a bad chick. Don't get mad. Don't get mad because she take it serious. She still reach up for help. She still got somebody she hit up every now and then. Don't get mad. Some people take it serious. Amen. Okay. And look, her mother's already one of the favorite here because she, she just got that vibe about her. Just good people. Ain't messy. Huh? Serious. Probably wish she was here when she was 15. Amen. And didn't know what she knew, what she had to know. She worked. I mean, man, talking about a work ethic. Are you kidding? Stuff that make you mad, she wish she'd have heard 25 years ago. It have made a difference. But God let her daughter come out in here. Amen. Amen. Huh? So Beauty and the boys in Junior, they get the life the parents ain't never seen. Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? Amen. So when it comes to your kin folk, if they don't want to walk with God, what you don't let them do is let you come over and they just go off on your church, your pastor, your member. You know, man. Yeah. I, yeah. I ain't that close to ask around. <laughs> and, and one of my daughters said, and he, he, here's, here's what I had to realize. <laughs> Some of y'all got two faces, not the wrong way. No, Mo, 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 Mo already ready to go off on y'all. Mo, Mo, Mo. Let me talk to Mo. Mo already know because me and Mo be talking while y'all be praying. <laughs> I talk to people while y'all pray. <laughs> and so, Mo, no, it's they have a presentation as to what they think I want them to be. And they're not there yet. And then that's how, then there's the, the real person. Right. They they want to be. They, you know, I guarantee you, if I had a camera, some people who are clapping, they cry before they leave the parking lot. Because I'm not that person. I am hurting. I have low self-esteem and I don't see what you see. Y'all didn't think I knew that, did you? I want to be what you see. No, it's not what I see. You want to be what God has meant for you to be. I'm just trying to get a principle to you. Amen. Amen. I don't follow you nowhere. Okay? And some people are Tamika who we bumped heads, man. Man, she just, <laughs> she wanted it. Some, it's something clicked. It's something clicked. We don't watch her cry. We watch you get married when she knew he wasn't. And then we watched her almost get tricked. And we watched Brandy come in. Now she got a great husband. And she watched her pull him out of some, that's a bad girl, y'all. Amen. Because of, uh, it's hard. Am I making sense tonight? It's a desire. You can't win your kin folk when you ain't even sure. That's right. <laughs> you ain't sure. Mm -hmm. none, none of my people, I have a small family anyway, but ain't none of them doubting me. Not what I believe. <laughs> right. 
on both sides. They leave me the hell alone. I'm good. Amen. I don't even have to post it. I live it. Amen. I don't post it. Y'all post a lot of stuff you don't even believe yourself. I mean, I live it. Okay? But without, uh, what, hey, something serious come up, Man, they asked, will you talk to him? Will you talk to her? Because, you know, my first thing, if you get to talk, I say, you talking, well, you should be listening. That's my first line, because I will hang up on you. My family, they don't, mm-mm. So I'm serious. But to sit there and just, they know I'm blessed. Just, no, they just don't come at me like that. Every now and then, my sister get a little wild hair, and I clip it. Man, I man, I get that press. I keep a press and come when I talk to her. I lay that thing down. I will burn her. I leave a mark on her neck. I don't care about no mark. Hey, Amen. This ain't no game over here. Uh, if my faith is funny, then my blessings is funny. Then you got it. Then, then, so, so what happens is when some uh, a serious comes up, then they want prayer, or whatever. Fine. But as far as trying to win out, mm-mm. Man, you can't make me go nowhere. We're going to have a family meet. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Bring snacks. <laughs> I ain't coming. You ain't. <laughs> we want to let you know how we feel. Y'all crazy <laughs> to live like that. <laughs> Are you coming over? Because we're going to let you know. How... You got to be kidding. We don't understand you. Do you understand this buzz on this phone? Click. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus said you're going to get opposition from Kim. I'm going to say it again. You're supposed to handle your family. Okay. Now here's the way it should be. I gotta tell you the way it should be because <laughs> it should be that when your son gets married, you get a daughter. Amen. When your daughter gets married, you get a son. Amen. Here's how it's supposed to work. Because some of y'all, if y'all pay close attention, okay, here's the way it's supposed to work. And so the, the, the love is so genuine that when your daughter, who you know is trifling, you raised her. <laughs> and, and, and he comes and tells you, Mama, she trifling. Tell that trifling girl, come here. Right. You don't act like she ain't trifling. Right. Matter of fact, you said, Mama, he said, I already know she's trifling, ain't she? <laughs> How you know? How I know? I found some drawers she put on the bed when she was eight. I just found them. Ah. That's 10 years ago. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right, Zoe. Draw closer, baby. It's good stuff. Your son, you know your son lazy. He did what? He quit a job. Where he at? Where he at? Some of y'all, it would have changed your life if somebody had been responsible for who they brought in the world. Talk to me now. It would have changed your life. You tell him bring his dusty behind. I almost said ass, but I got kids listening to me. <laughs> you tell him. He better call me right. Come on. How many of y'all would have loved? That would have made all the difference in the world where that person was accountable for who they brought in the world. Yes, sir. They're going to act like they don't know. And some of y'all sit there and was mistreated and felt worse after you called them. Right. After they signed off and, well, it's something that you should have. Okay, now, now I'm going to flip it. Are y'all paying attention? Okay. See, she done caught the cold and huh? Now, now, now suppose, okay, here's the way it's supposed to be. Let's say it's your son. He married somebody and she's wrong. But because you're so fair, come here, baby. Baby, you can't do that. You don't do that. You a mom to who? To both. 
Baby, you don't do that. That's not because that person has been penalized for the womb. They, can, they really may not know. But because you're fair. Okay. Let's say they both wrong. I'm trying to cover everything. Say they both crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you lock them in a room. Say, look. Now y'all going to stand here until one of y'all get some sense. <laughs> yeah, one of y'all get some sense that, that I open the door. <laughs> until then, <laughs> I'll slip food under the door. You're both crazy. <laughs> then you have, then you have, watch this now. So a real compliment is not when your son tells you you're a great mom. It's when his wife. So when she says, I don't even know how to be a mother. I don't know how to be a wife. But that woman, not the woman, that woman taught me. That man taught me. See, I, I, that, that's so far beyond. Y'all just stand there like, that don't exist. Mm -hmm. People who are serious. All that lopsided, you know your son is a fool. And also you get amnesia. And I don't have time to tell you how I think about you when you sign off and your child is wrong. Or you cover them in sin. You cover your son cheating. You cover your daughter cheating. It's Christmas time, silent night. Kinfolk. Huh? Your child should be scared to be in your presence after they done cussed out somebody else's child. Or put their hand, man. You should never sit next to your mama while I'm teaching this, man, because she's going to steal on you just with the thought. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? They just going to, and oh, that athlete, that girl told me, I won't call his name, the girl, I talked to her. She said, his mama, I had to change my number because his mama was harassing me. Done sign off on him finding another 21 year old. The mama called her. Just go. He, he don't want you no. Wow. I told her, I said, watch what happens. So his first NFL game, he looked like it was an exhibition and looked like he, he, and, and so she's like, wow, he had his best game. I said, that ain't the real people. That's people trying to make the team. That ain't people on, really on the team. First game. He did some little thing. His mama is his counselor. That's in your body. His counselor for sin. That's why I'm crazy about no Ezekiel Elliott. I don't care how he can run. His father is his counselor to do wrong. His father should have knocked him out a long time ago. For t right. Right. Nah, you ain't supposed to sign off when your child is wrong. They should be scared to come in your presence while they wrong. You put your hands on her, you think you're gonna come in my house? <laughs> so you find out you ain't got no conviction. Amen. That's how you handle that stuff. If you if you if you have a principle, which means I don't care whose face is in there, it's still the same result. Then both children should love you. Or let's just go and go there. Your child could have made a mistake and made the wrong person. And they embarrass. Amen. <laughs> and, and you could you could see that. Uh, here's what happened. I came back from Orlando. Young man took me to the airport. We was talking. He's tripping off my Louis. And, all. and he was talking about. Uh, so I asked him what his goals were. And he's he, you know said he wanted a dealership or whatever. And then he said. Um, but I got this, this girlfriend, and he said, man, she's crazy. He said, I, I got these goals and stuff, but man, she's always, she's just messy. She just, she's just full of drama. It's on the way to the airport. I said, man, you got to drop her. You got to get rid of her. I said, but you stay out of her drawers, though. Don't be hitting it and then keeping her. 
said, take a ring, man, do a clean break. I said, because that's somebody's child. But you already see that she's off and full of drama and crazy? Huh? That was the best ride he ever had. Amen. I talked him all the way, man. Get You can't, don't go through that. You see it already? Do a clean break. You can't carry that. There are people who are licensed to be therapists. You're not one. You barely got a driver's license. And, and, and we know that's just a mistake, right? No. <laughs> that was too much for y'all. Y'all like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Your problem, so G, just go back to Jesus, because you can't get mad at him. What you going to do with it? You can't hit him. <laughs> Your hands too left. <laughs> he said, kinfolk. You don't stun We back together. I we back. Yeah, we back. I, I got y'all punishment. You owe me. Yeah, you do. I take five year payments. So when you grown, I'll still be like. Here's another thing. You don't take your companion over to those folk who gonna go off on them. I don't go nowhere, Mary, where I feel uncomfortable. I ain't watching what I say. <laughs> I ain't watching what I say. Okay. <clears throat> can for get mad at Jesus. Everybody got can for. Unless you're an alien or something. <laughs> okay. Among his own kin. Mm -hmm. And in his own house. And in his own house. That's the part I tried to stop you from. Where you have opposition in your own house. Okay. And you come to church. And you got to watch couples who coming together. And you secretly crying. Because wow. wow. your selection that you didn't pray over don't want to come to church. There's only coming to church until they locked you down. And now they don't want to come to church no more. So you really back to the way you were. Right. Okay. And that ain't fun. Maybe that's worse. Right. So if something comes up, you don't have nobody to pray with you. No. They played a role. You didn't do diligence. You threw your sheet of paper away. Because it ain't fun coming by yourself when you already came by yourself. Right. Am I helping somebody? That's good. Okay. It ain't, it ain't fun. No. All right. See, in my house, on son Asker, she right here, is everybody go for yourself. She on one side of the house, she got a separate garage. I'm on the other side. She, I'm gone. There's no argument. There's no, what, you, go, you going today? Are y'all crazy? That don't even come up. Right. Are, you going, are you going to go today? Right. It don't matter. If I see you, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> Gone. Well, see, Steph, I, part of it is because I find myself $100 if I'm late. That alone will make you that'll inspire you. Because <laughs> about 10 times, man, that's a Canada Goose jacket. You feel me? <laughs> I said, that's a Canada Goose jacket. You do that 10 times. That's $9.95. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? My son Raphael wanted one, but I ordered myself one. <laughs> <laughs> and he could there do no mighty work, save that he laid his hands upon. Oh, so Jesus could do no mighty work there. Then mm -mm. what you trying to do a mighty work with all this confusion, and you still trying to convince those kin folk that you different? They know you different because you didn't pull your pistol out on them. You didn't tell, tell them nothing. They know you different because you didn't cuss them out. They know you, and, and if they never give you credit for what God has done for you, so be it. Amen. Live with it. Right. Amen? Amen. Huh? I want them to know I've changed. They might be jealous that you went from being the worst to bypassing them while they're supposed to be religious. So they ain't going to never give you credit. 
All they're going to do is remind you of when you were locked up, when you was on the pole, when that, you was doing. Uh, when you <laughs> Karen, I'm going to get to the twerk part of this chapter. Hold on. Hold on, Karen. I'm glad Zuri is sitting next to you so she can breathe, all right? So Jesus said he didn't do no mighty works there, except for a few people. Mm -hmm. Say that he laid hands upon a few sick folk and healed them. Mm -hmm. So even Jesus like, you know what? So you see people coughing like, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> just walking past people. <laughs> like Jesus, I like that dude in the intersection. Just, just whoever y'all are, let me come by and touch. He like, uh-uh, 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 no, no, okay. Hmm. <laughs> A few people. Right. Uh, a few means three, right? Yes. <laughs> Why are you trying to prove something? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll forget the part when you, you got, man, that's why we don't do bumper stickers at this church. Run away, Jesus, and somebody cut you off, you throw that middle finger up. Is that, <laughs> is, is, is that the one way? That's why I took my name off my car, because I'd be passing too many people. They'd be like, Barlow. <laughs> All right. Now they just guess. They see H-Cat, it's me. Got out of my way. Read. And he marveled because of their unbelief. <laughs> he marveled. Because, you don't want God marveling because of your unbelief. Mm -hmm. You want God marveling because of your faith. Right. Remember, Quana, when God sees faith, sees, say, I got faith to it. When God sees faith, he's. They believe me for now? They still believe in me? On November the 1st? They still believe? Huh? So this is the angel, let me pull on your look. So the angel, the God, like, angel be pulling on God like, we got to balance her books. Thank you, Jesus. You know what she believed yes. in you for? She still yes. believing in what you believed you on watch night service for. <laughs> Amen. It's November the 1st, God. It's November the 1st, God. You, we, you, we got to. Faith makes God look at you. If you got faith, you don't know what God going to do for you this month. Amen. Delay but not deny. Amen. Delay but not deny. That man thought he was going to get that store. We believed it down to our toe. Back to the crust on our ankle, we believed it. Amen. It did not happen. It's a test. Amen. I said, you're going to get a store before December 1st. God said, you being you ain't that close. It was before November 1st. Amen. And they backdated it. Are y'all hearing me? Don't ever be ashamed because you believe God. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and. I'm going to teach your husband how to talk to you. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> All you got to do is say, you know, baby, the Keys Foundation is blessed. Look at your dimples coming out. <laughs> Don't worry, I get to him. No, 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 she, she just, no, they do. Because you don't know what to, you don't, see, you don't know what to say. You say the wrong thing, right? <laughs> you have to be taught. And it's because of how people are raised. They don't, and what happens is they'll get on your nerves because they don't know what, the, some people don't think before they talk. That's number one. Okay? And then, so they don't, it's hard to explain. And can I grasp um, the situation and that every first of the month is a new month to be thankful for what he did last month? Amen. 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 Every first, you get a chance to start all over again. Why month? Because months turn into years. So if you start your month wrong, And you have to have a consciousness, you understand what I'm saying? Where you start and say, 
God, I thank God what he did for the Williams family last month. Huh? Last month, your car, you got hit by a nun. Going backwards. Or the month before, this month, you in a Land Rover. Lord, I thank God. Huh? Ain't nobody gonna argue with you if you wake up and say, I thank God we are healthy. I thank God we didn't spend no day in the hospital last month. I thank God we got heat, food. Ain't nobody gonna be in the hospital. Ain't nobody gonna be mad at you. Huh? I thank God you a provider. You know what I mean? Women got men don't go to work. I thank God you didn't forsake this family last month. I thank God. You get on people's nerves when you ain't thankful. Yes, sir. Does that make sense? Yes. Jesus ain't studying these folk. He went around about the village just teaching. And then, to show how discouraged he was, he called the twelve unto him and sent them out two by two. <laughs> and gave them power over unclean spirit. Let me get to the twerk part. That's what Karen waiting for. Verse 8. And commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey save a staff only. A walking stick. Read. Not like Mr. Biggs. <laughs> Keep reading. Y'all, y'all full of BET videos. <laughs> no. Read. No script. No bread. No money in their purse. Because these folk going to take care of you. Read. But be shod with sandals and not put on two coats. Don't even carry extra shirt. They're going to take care of you. Read. And he said unto them, in what place soever ye enter into a house, there abide till ye depart from that place. Read. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear you, when you depart thence, shake off the dust under your feet. Now your feet can't be dusty before you get there. <laughs> <laughs> but you can shake the dust off, which meant leave, you leave them alone. You leave them alone. Okay. I want this church to be known for husband and wife teams. Amen. Mm -hmm. I know some of y'all gonna be married even if you don't know. Okay. <laughs> but not to Amen. not out of the belly of your lust. Exactly. Where you boot up and listening to Teddy Pendergrass greatest hits <laughs> and won't come to church. <laughs> Turn off okay. the lights. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Maybe is my jukebox back there. All right. Amen. Teams. Teams. So it goes like this. There's a reason why God sent Brian to th this other store. Yes, yes. Okay. Now they better hurry up and get a saint because holiness and protection in the blood is out of that store. Right. Y'all don't believe that either, That's okay? Good. That's, oh. good. That's good. Okay, so they better get us somebody in there. Yes, sir. All right, so you're going to read about it. Right. So it goes like this. Yes, it's a substantial pay raise. But what young man needs to be mentored so he can run into a J so that he can have a... F <laughs> huh? Yep. Watch this now. Uh -huh. You might be looking at a $400,000 house, but the people you're supposed to minister to, it's a $600,000 neighborhood. So God got to get you over there, amen, for the makeup. Y'all See, I know I'm teaching y'all right. 
Amen. So God got to get you in the $600,000 neighborhood because the neighbors that live next door to you, he going to send them to Argentina and they can't get there except you and your husband. That's why I don't want you booed up and listen to the Isley Brothers' greatest hits. You'll, you'll miss the call of God. Why should God promote you? Amen. Now, if I hadn't been in Orlando, that young man would have never heard, you better, get, you, you better get rid of this before this costs you. Okay? <laughs> Why was he sent to drive me to the airport? That's right. I hope we. <laughs> yeah. Am I making sense? Yes, sir. So when I look, we want to see teams. Mm -hmm. So the other teammate has to have faith, Keith. Has to. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because if God meant for you to, I can talk to Lisa because that's my, my homie. But if God meant for you to be somewhere and she ain't willing to go, that meant God, and you might have too much more love for her than you have for the will of God. That means God got to send somebody else. Okay? <laughs> That's why those of you not married, you, you, you have no reason not to, you only have to deal with yourself. <laughs> Satan will send you somebody to stop you from doing the will of God. Right. Show no. Show no. He will send something. Yes. He will send something and let you be happy three years if you miss the will of God for 13. And then the real, <laughs> the real tail will bounce out. And you got a devil. This is too much for y'all, ain't it? Two by two. Yeah. Even to the point when she get on the plane, there's a, there's a person God has already assigned to sit next to her. Right. In the plane of Las Vegas. Yes. Right. She ain't going there to shop. She going there to go to the place where Satan was picking off people. He was already there. She going there to pray. Yes. Look at the timing. They just now, that happened at the beginning. Satan is clowning at the beginning of every month. Right. They just now letting them go back to get their stuff. Their stuff is still there. Yep. Some of their cars. Mm -hmm. Who are you going down there to pray with? Yes. Who is down there suicide? Who, who down there said, I'm just going to get this one thing and then I, I don't want to live no more. Oh, you better thank God for the blood of Jesus. Amen. Two by two. How can you stop the works of the devil if you done hooked up with one? That's why they're trying to time you. That's why they're trying to time your feeling. Amen. If you don't know who you are, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. You ought to see God in, in that stuff. Amen. It's somebody trying to time my emotion to stop me from being what I'm supposed to be. Trying to negate my destiny. Two by two. You ought to know God don't waste oil. I'm not going to be my myself. I got to just wait until the hand of God come. Amen. I ain't got to get on no secret dating site. Let me just be in the will of God. Somebody is praying. Somebody is looking up to the hill from which coming their help. I am the help that they praying for. So you're going to be booed up in Monte Carlo when there's work to do? Mm -hmm. If he's seen in Monte Carlo where, where the rich play at, it's because some rich person don't want to live. Or God will send you there to make contact so they can come and bless somebody else. It's all God. What now? Somebody have what? Just got a text. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Come on, man of God. So, so I guess Lord. I just timed that right. <laughs> uh, sometimes I scare myself. Yes, yes, I understand. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
so who half my first out sometimes I call certain people half my frustration is some of y'all don't even see what you bring to the table you just really think you're just a Christian person you crazy you're just some Christian that just luck no you're not <laughs> no you're not no you're not I guess I, I guess no, I call not. somebody to go pull a shotgun no you're not mm -hmm. <laughs> they couldn't do it while a priest was there even the one who went to Cammy's store God had to make Cammy come from Texas oh, he, he didn't come, come from Texas come on I am not surprised. Hmm? Wherever there's a saint. Mm -hmm. Well, the air, and that's not being haughty. That is the arrogancy of purpose. Huh? Amen, amen. When you living right, you can live right and have problems. You know that, don't you? Problems don't mean you ain't living right. That's right. Unless your problems come from not living right. right. <laughs> and I clear all that up, too. Because somebody's like, I knew I had a problem here. Your problem is you need to get that elasticity in your drawers tightened up. That's your problem. That's it. Did I say elasticity? That's a big word. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that something? Man. Quick. So something left the AIM store that's now going to the Pine store. Okay. Two by two. Okay, I try to tell her, which y'all have a lot of feelings. I told that young man, I ain't sign off on nothing. I don't care how talented you are. You are nothing without her. And I ain't feeding that. I'm not feeding the rope that's about to go around your neck. <laughs> don't get me twisted. I don't feed. So if something happens, or rather when something happens, you can't say I fed you. Sure. I told you you was nothing without him. <laughs> and why wouldn't Satan try to create an atmosphere where it looks like I'm wrong? <laughs> Not knowing, here's what you don't know. Prophecy's good for 400 years. Oops. So if it's been 12 years, ain't nothing happened. I got 388, which it, they won't be here that long. How y'all like that? <laughs> I am not surprised. That's why whenever you go, you go in there. Matter of fact, I told my daughter, me and her went out. You haven't used what you've lived to your advantage. It ain't like everybody has lived the life you live. The fact that you haven't used it, that's your fault. You should wait it under God. You, you should get, you should set your time. You should, God, do you see me? Right. Do you see what I did? Yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, until you happy about it. Right. Right. Because somebody wants somebody happy that they have walked with God and served God. Happy that they walk, not with the result. The result don't mean nothing. If I did my part, whatever the result is. down the aisle with your good looking self on an anniversary come on what you gonna do that if you happy for thank you God I, God I got the record I got the A plus A plus I walk with you I served you amen and I'm thankful that I did it amen yeah who in here th aren't you thankful that you waited on God thankful that you served God Thankful that you didn't panic. Thankful that you didn't give up. Thankful that you didn't throw the towel. Thank you that you didn't. Amen. You can't be sad because you walk with God. You got to be glad. Amen. God, I, I please you. You the difference maker. You the one that can turn around. You turn around so quick, the Bible said you think you dreaming. I can run my mouth. 
I washed my car inside with the heat on. <laughs> the day of switching hands with the hose, <laughs> with a glove, <laughs> and your stuff fr <laughs> freezing up. It's over with. <laughs> My son said you can't ever go back. <laughs> One hand in your pocket, huh? <laughs> you trying to hurry up. The back end of froze over. <laughs> Gotta turn your thing around so quick. Amen. <laughs> Somebody thank God for what they don't understand. I don't understand it. It don't make no sense. But I'm glad I waited on you. I'm glad, amen, when my flesh said my stuff was dead, you said it was sleeping, amen. I'm so glad that my blessing got up at the name, amen. When you call my blessing's name, it got up, amen. Somebody tell God thank you, amen. <laughs> You one word away. <laughs> Look at that. Why is God sending you to that star? So I see, let me. I get scared for all self willed people. I get scared for people say, uh uh, it's got to be that city. That person, that job, oh, you done fenced God out. Amen. Because you, God can see what you can't see. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. I go down L Street, I did not want to be, I, I was never supposed to meet none of y'all. Those of you I like, <laughs> love, I'm never supposed to meet y'all. Never. I miss one question. I never see none of y'all. You don't have no mind bites. One question. I ain't want to be in the city. L Street? <laughs> Why would I want to be in the city that named the street after the alphabet? That don't sound progressive. <laughs> huh? Thing. It ain't no Chinese play because they got 300 letters in the alphabet. We would never get around, all right? The kanji got what, 300 or some character? I mean, man, they, that's why those people are smart. They smart before they get to first grade. Yeah. You learn that alphabet, you got something going on. <laughs> no, for real, you got to see it. I go down the street with a man. God sends a person in your life to change your season. I just got through studying that. He always sent a person. That's how you know your season going to change. Elijah, your season going to change. I'm going to send Elisha to wash your hands. Okay? So hear that man. And, and let's, let's go over it. Because this is a, we, I love when the family is happy for family. Amen. And I try to get the discourse so out who wasn't happy. Amen. I'm messy. You know, only for that. To get out, send me my, my check. <laughs> they owe me some money. Okay? We just knew he was getting the AIM store. He turned the AIM store around by himself. Okay? No, no, for real. He, 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 he turned by himself. The man over him got the cra he got a good bonus, but the man over here got the nasty bonus. But it was his store. And the people, because he has a he has a, a take charge demeanor. He don't like no excuses. He don't like people that got the system, they know when to call in, and some and some ain't got no days left <laughs> for two years. <laughs> you know, they know the whole system, high family day. Some of y'all got your head down. I know I'm talking about you. You don't never want to come to work. But oh, let them be late on your check. <laughs> let them be a quarter off. That's the day you took that extra 45 minute for lunch. Right. 
So it's a dis demeanor. And then he had people around here because his name was hot. And then we all, oh, man, it's fun to believe God for people. Amen. I got to go back with my message. I said it's just a test. It's a test. It was so much right. It's just a test. Now watch God. But, but it's not fair because I've been on earth 61 years. I've seen God turn stuff around. And yet, even at 61, I still had my own super test that I failed and had to ask God to take it again. And I did it. All right. When Look. God bought me, I said, Don't you ever yes. doubt? Yes. See, we think fail, we think about laying with somebody. You can fail tests without ever laying with anybody. Right, right. Yes. Failing means fear and unbelief. Right. If you have unbelief, you fail. Right. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Thank okay. You. you just have unbelief. Or you doubt the sovereignty of God. Yes. Nathan, when I, I studied the, the, the 12 spy, there's a part in my Hebrew book, I just had to close the book. And the 10 spies, you know, only two, Caleb and Joshua, believe God and the women believe God because they said the women said, we already have seen God bless. What's wrong with these crazy men? See, and I told my daughter, you live in the age of weak men. Okay? That's why when you get a strong man, you got to let him know every day. Wrap it up like a tootsie roll. Because, no, you live in the age of... Amen. Amen. Excuse making. And some because their mama raised them that way. And enable them so they don't know how to carry a family. They don't know how to keep no job. They don't know. Teach Bishop. Come on now. You're telling the truth. So when you get a goodie, yeah, every day. he get the goodies. Every day. <laughs> All right. All right. Don't clap. You might be mad. All right. <laughs> but 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 y'all 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 understand how important it is. To have faith down to the last drop. Okay? So we just believe in God for, for him. And, and the people, they might have been jealous of his demeanor. Sometimes people are like, he really think he gonna get this. We gonna see how he handles it when he don't. And it shook you for a minute. Because we had a lot tied to it. I said, no, turn that up. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Faith stands by itself. Correct. God's a healer even if a person leave here. Amen. Okay? Amen. No, I can talk. My mama gone. Amen. I, I, no, I asked God, either heal her or take her. God, I didn't want to see her like that. Right. I ain't trying to be selfish. I had to get myself together. Like, what do you believe? See, a lot of times, you can come to church, don't believe nothing. Right. Yeah. Right. Come on now. Okay. I have conviction. So then I said, this, this man, went, you can feel the drop. Okay. When you, you, when you older, you don't, you don't get wisdom because your hair gray. You, you get wisdom because you've seen this before. And so you're supposed to catch a young heart that's dropping. Come on, <laughs> See, so if you keep failing, that's how you run to stupid old people. They ain't never believe God. So when you run into a, a period of unbelief, they go along with you. That's how I don't know why you thought that in the first place. Right. They, ain't never, they ain't never believe God for nothing. I know this is deep now. I'm taking my time too. Uh -huh. So like, no. Uh -uh. We're going to believe God anyway. And, and my prediction was off. I said before the end of the year. First of all, here's, here's, here's a, here's a, I know God ain't got that many people in the earth his age that believe him. Oh, I just messed some of y'all. That already, I gave some of y'all a hint. God ain't got a whole bunch of folk be, be, believing him, kept like y'all kept. Some of y'all really kept y'all. Man, God, you act like God got a bunch of those folk. Uh, they might be another, they're not in the United States. They're not in these popping pizza churches. These folks are getting it in, doing anything. But, but you live like you're just one of many. Because you haven't studied the word few in the Bible. Few find it. Few, 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 few. Bible full of principles on the word few. So here's a couple believe, here's a pre believe in God. Brooke, big, just a matter of time. I just made a prediction out of my experience. And I was wrong. 
I said December. God said October. <laughs> yeah. Wow. See, y'all don't mind me being wrong if it's before. <laughs> <laughs> we thank God. Yes. Amen. We, the spies, Lisa, in the Hebrew book said, he said, those people, those ten spies, messed those people up for hundreds of years by that one act of unbelief. Mm. And here's the part that made me close my Hebrew book. He said, it is as though God overestimated what they were gonna face and underestimated their ability. Wow. I had to close my book. Mm -hmm. Now let's forget them. It's though God has overestimated what you're going to face. Wow. Somehow a God who spins the world on his axis, right. a God who keeps the sun a certain yes, distance yes, from the earth, yes. a God who lets water stick on a round object, somehow he overestimates what you're going to face and underestimates your ability. God who, amen, made you before the foundation world somehow underestimated amen your will and everything about you that is utterly imp somebody tell God thank you amen he has not overestimated what I was going to say he has not underestimated my ability he is a right now somebody finally got a hold of God amen God knows your struggle he knows your ups your downs how you feel how you going to respond why you feel the way you feel, your resilience, nothing about you is measurements with God are off. <laughs> we talk about the creator. So he, he did not underestimate your opposition. <laughs> he knew when I came down L Street he said, you're going to pass by the rich man. He only rich, so he's going to help you. He's going to sell you his house, and your grandbaby is going to live in the room upstairs where her uncle is. Huh. And she's going to play in the same driveway. And that man going to make it happen. You ain't going to have the credit, but you got credit with me. Huh? That man has to be rich. Huh? I'm going to allow that city to talk about you, lie on you. Omaha star, Ernie Chambers, Tariq Alami. I saw all that. Yes, I saw all that. Yes. The apostolics, you name it, I saw all of that. Yes. And one day I'm going to send another rich man yes. who is going to bless you with yes. what you sold. Yes. Somebody tell God thank you. You ain't going to run. You're going to take it. They're going to lie on you, on your daughter. They're going to lie about how you got blessed. They don't believe in time. They don't believe you can talk the way you talk and live by faith. But you're going to take it and I'm going to bless you if you stay in my will. And God ain't finished. Are y'all hearing me? He ain't bit more finished. It is what it is. You ain't underestimating. Amen. Amen. Well, we get in trouble, because we all have them. Emotions. Mm. Where well, Satan used how you feel against you to get you out of place. Come on. Hmm. If you have, if you best friends with somebody else emotional, it's a wrap. Because they're going to lock in to how you feel. You need a friend like Brandy to say, you tripping. You are wrong. You are impatient. 
You are mad at God. You are mad at yourself. You need a friend like that. That's a friend who does not want to watch you miss what God has already said is yours before the foundation of the world. Does that make sense? Why does God want him at that store? <laughs> Who's working there that he has the mentor? Who will die? Who will commit suicide except he's at that store? Hmm? Place, plan, provision. God, where am I supposed to be? And when I get there, I'm taking you with me with joy. Amen. Huh? Wow. Hmm? So here's what, let me, let me take the house out. So if a man is praying, the man that Vicky, he why Vicky suffer. Okay. And me and my daughter, we start with this one scripture that hymns up everybody. If you get this one scripture down, the scripture says that the woman was made for the man. Okay. The scripture does not say the man was made for the woman. Okay. The woman was made for the man. That scripture, if you absorb that down to the will solve argument. It will solve what it, it man. Talking about something that you can advance and build on. Ah, what does that scripture mean? Now, in its simplest form, I'm already here. So I'm by myself, but I'm not by myself. Huh? And I'm, I could only be the only one holding things up because God did his part. He made me. And he already made somebody make me for someone. Oh, so I, man, I got to find the mind of God. Amen. And uh, the timing of God, which goes back to Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there is a season, season and a time to every purpose. Yeah. Wow. Somebody thank God for the will of God. No, really thank God for the will of God. Huh? No, really, really thank God for the will of God on November the 1st, 2017. Amen. There'll never be another November 1st, 2017. It'll be a 2018 till you see this day again. Come on, thank God for your path, for your journey. For what you don't understand. Huh? Thank God for being in his will. Somebody thank God for having a mind to repent. For being able to say, God, I'm sorry. Thank God, amen, for unplugging your emotion and getting back on track. You have a right to celebrate all month. Celebrate being the will of God. My emotions, my nature, nothing's going to trick me out the will of God. I thank God for being in his will today. There's something that he sees that I can't see. <laughs> Delayed, but not denied. The finest of the wheat, the city that's on a hill, the light that can't be hid, that's who you are. You ought to thank God for whatever trouble led you to the house of God. If you had never got in trouble, you might be dead, probably with trouble. Just when they thought 
Most other it was going to do me in. God had already set up for a girl with a short skirt who I told her I ain't coming down this aisle and seeing that short skirt had already put her in the position to stop what they were trying to do. Come on, man. God is a He said, no weapon that is formed. Somebody thank God. He didn't say the weapon of the world. He said, it's not going to prosper. Anybody want to praise God for the weapons that were formed that have not prospered? Hey. If you think the weapons formed against you are prospering, you are tripping, amen. God ain't changing no word for you. You ain't all that. He meant it. Whatever's formed against you is not going to prosper. Somebody shout hallelujah. That gun ain't going off, amen. God said it ain't going off. Lord, whatever you doing, in this season, don't do it without me on November 1st, amen. Don't do it without me. Don't do it. I am not a bystander. I am not. Yeah, right at altar, wide open. Oh, Lord. Don't do this without my presence. Oh, God, I need you, God. I need the saints. I need the faith. The other people living together, helping me magnify. I need to be in the company of believers. What I'm believing you for way over my head what I'm believing you for God yeah. what I'm thanking you for 60 days left my faith is stronger 60 days left I know you can't lie you are not a man that you can lie you don't have the ability to lie What you promised me is coming. It's coming. It's coming. Feels mighty good to be in the will of God. With joy. Not happiness, because the other side is unhappy. But there's no such word as unjoy. Listen to that song. with you. Lord, I did it. Your strength. It's done. Whatever. Sixty days. Lord, if 
your blessing. And I know you are God. 